Pisces, are you okay? Sincerely, are you okay? Because, yeah, the energies of this lunar eclipse, full moon in Scorpio, blood moon, intense, right? For a lot of us, so much is going on, so much is to be released internally, perhaps externally as well. I'm filming this video at night and that's a bit unusual and there's a reason for it. We're gonna get into the tarot very quickly but I have a few cards here, miracles of the archetypes and what is coming through is the shadow, is the underworld, which is very scorpionic. As well, I'm seeing there in the sky this cloud that is a little dark, but it's like a huge phoenix or bird with huge wings, and it's about to fly, but it's not moving. It's this darkness that wants to be released right now and we are needing so much internal courage to deal with this energy it's intense to say the least it's really intense pisces it could have to do with relationship we have the ring here that came with the fault line the ring and the fault line it could have to do with marriage, it could have to do with a significant relationship. It could have to do with your commitment. Where is your commitment right now? Is it to yourself, truly to your purpose? Or is it to a fault, to someone else? Is there something that needs to break? Because we see here that when there is a wound, there are ripple effects right in the rock. When your energy is not stable, it's starting to crack and crack and crack and crack and crack. And there's only so much time left until it collapses, until it breaks free from itself. And so your intuition is really on point here, Pisces, whatever you're feeling in your gut, whatever is blocking you, from truly moving forward with the, this Jupiter and Aries right now. We're asked to really be pioneers and to take action, to move forward, to simplify things. And so with your new find expansion, internal expansion, a related state of consciousness that you've really grown to with Jupiter and Pisces the last few months, now it's time to get out there. It's time to remove the blocks, the final blocks that are limiting you. And the thing is, it's not that easy because you're asked to step into the warrior, the warrior archetype. And the warrior archetype, war, I said water for warrior, but it's because there's so much emotion happening. So much stuff ingrained we are being triggered truly into the core of our childhood issues our fears insecurities you could be feeling really scared full of anxiety and it could be yours it could be also your significant others it could be the collective energy at large right now there's just a push to to be active at the same time, not knowing exactly where to go to. You might be feeling there's so many opportunities and you're not clear exactly yet on which one is the right one for you. And so this warrior energy, this snake, has to do with deep healing. You do have here a rainbow. And so the rainbow is right around the corner. It's here for you, but there's a need for the snake to change its skin. And as it's changing skins, right, there's a moment where there's no skin. It's extremely vulnerable. 
and right now you might be feeling that exactly like that completely vulnerable like a, a crying baby that has no mother literally no mother and so here what came through then is the shadow the shadow and the maiden the maiden has to do with the young girl right that is growing this is called to the woman especially the woman out here that have those issues of being abandoned or needing to or feeling like they need to be dependent on a man or all of those disempowering feelings and so here Pisces you're told that you're more than that you are needing to break free from your own shadow because you cannot become the shadow of someone else especially if it is in a marriage and we saw that reading here you cannot as often women fall into that trap fall into domination or fall into subtle sometimes power plays with the men in their life and this is a call to you women to be independent to find the strength within to find why are you here what is your purpose and once and for all remove the toxic energies that could still be lingering in your life it could be internal it doesn't have to be the person around you but you could have allowed the wrong person in your life and the shadow is everything we don't want to look at because it hurts. Can we be fierce, strong Pisces and look for the truth? Because I feel your intuition is telling you a lot of things, but you don't want to look at it or see it because that could, that would be a huge change in your life, right? It could be a change of places, moving, relationships, career. So it's big. But as the days go by here this week, we should be finding more and more clarity. But right now you might be feeling very vulnerable and don't hate yourself or judge yourself, sabotage yourself for that. Please. Okay. So let's get into it, Pisces. What is the most important for Pisces right now? Yeah, Six of Pentacles came twice. The even give and take Pisces. Is it truly that? Is it balance in your life right now? Is this particular person respecting your space, for example? Do you have enough space for yourself? As a healer, as a light worker, you need that space. Also, with Scorpio, there's a lot of issues that come with sexual or physical um, presence or mixing in your life. Where do you stand in that? How are you protecting your energy? It has to do with the heart, the sun, the you energy. How are you stepping into the illumination, into the light in your life? The blessings are here, but there's a need for courage here. There's a need to step up to your own plate, Pisces. And where does your heart lie? Are you living a lie? Or are, living, are you living your truth, your heart truth? That is beyond attachment, Pisces. Remember, we need to tap into this higher frequency of Libra, which is the Buddha, which is the middle point where there's no here or there. There's no me or the other. There's just being clear light, clear stillness and seeing through yourself without judging without emotions just looking at it feeling it understanding it to move forward in truth in integrity in true heart in in true alienation with your own self This is where the illumination takes place, the enlightenment. 
is where the path is clear. We can feel, but we're not used by our emotions or used by other people. We're used by our own beliefs and emotions and feelings. Pisces. Yeah, illusions, Neptunian energy, seven of cups here, seven of water. Very watery, right? I said water for the warrior before. The warrior is a fire of spirit. Your waters need to be calmed down by this fire. They need to be boiled down. To get to this lighter energy of the fire, the rising energy of the phoenix. You cannot drown in the waters right now. Here, there are a lot of possibilities, dreams, fantasies, but what are you living? Are you living the reality of your life or are you living the fantasy of someone else? Are you being the fantasy of someone else? What is love, Pisces? What is love? Yeah, three of sword. That's a lot of pain, Pisces, a heartache, emotional trauma. And often Pisces has this issue with always trying to find the positive in everything, being over-compassionate, which is not true compassion, as we just discussed. True compassion is anchoring oneself in the zero space, zero point, where we see clearly we're not drowning in all the possibilities, in the confusion and illusion of dreams, but perhaps I'm not that reality. The magician. Manifestation. You can manifest anything. You can manifest magic. That's called with this Aries energy, Jupiter and Aries. A pioneer. Fierce. Focused. Seven of Wands, being in your power, defending the worthwhile, your truth. Yeah, Knight of Cups, messenger of water, has to do with emotions. Someone perhaps coming with romantic feelings, message of love. How do you deal with that? Do you see through it? Do you see through that person, through it, its heart? Do you see through your own heart? Because again, three of sword, three of air. When it comes to your heart, Pisces, right now, be careful. Because it could be manipulation. With words, that person could be talking to you with romantic, you know, wishy-washy. But is it to just possess you, control you? Or is it truly love? If it's truly love, that person gives you that space. The person rises to your spiritual world. It doesn't bring you down in their toxic behaviors. Chariot, traveling, focusing. Cancer energy. Five of sword, five of air. Yeah, mental manipulation, I was talking about that. Mental conflict, that could be with words. Watch your words, listen more. But there's discussions here. When it comes to emotions, a particular person. What is in balance? What is even give and take Pisces? That's the lesson of your life. How much do you give? How much do you receive? And how much are you in the illusion of things? And how much are you actually creating, manifesting in your life from your truth with clarity, not illusion. This is mental deceit a little bit. This is also being overthinking. And yeah, we have the star behind. Needing to heal that. Needing to step into your own power, the star that you are. The star is also the Aquarian energy. Community. 
But there's healing here that needs to take place, Pisces. Obviously. When it comes to the give and take, that's coming through strongly. I'm seeing travel. Eight of Wands was coming through again with the chariot. Becoming independent. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. Being confident in the fact that you can make a career by yourself with your own skills. Being self-employed. That you can do it. You don't need someone else. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Queen of Water was coming through a lot also in the pre-shuffle. That's compassion, but it's true compassion we talked about Pisces, the Psychic Queen. This is loving yourself also, unconditional love. Whatever communication you're going to be having with someone or other people, there can be harsh words, aggression. We have love, Mars energy, Aries energy. And so we need to... In whatever decision we choose to go inside she has her eyes closed and when we talk to talk with love and love can be yeah I need to let you go I want you to be happy this is your world this is my world or adjusting things so however you're going to be talking don't go into a the conflict energy because you're going to be triggered at this time yeah four of pentacle four of earth underneath this has to do with what we're holding on to the material stuff being conservative here does it need to let go does it need to go more inside more into the spiritual beyond our mind beyond the feelings beyond the illusion of love when it's not and needing to recognize exactly if in your relationship, for example, things are actually balanced. Sometimes it's very subtle. The word that a person tells you, or really listen closely this week, I see, or in this moment. You do have patience as well. So it's possible that for the decision you need to make, you need a little bit of more time, or divine timing is at play. You need to be patient with yourself, with the person as well. Yeah, talks about two of cups. So my energy. Patience is needed here. To make the right decision. One more. Yep. Eight of cups, eight of water. Walking away, Pisces. To what? To your ten of pentacle. The ten of pentacle is everything. Abundance. Long-term commitment. Family very stable energy but you have to walk away from something maybe it's a way of being maybe it's this relationship there is travel here involved there is you walking away to get so it's this release to get to your purpose to that 10 Pisces and for that you need to be the warrior you have the king of water underneath and the nine of water so that's Nine of Cups and the King of Cups. That's a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of emotional stability, Pisces. Needed to get through this, Pisces. I'm going to get a few more clarifications here for this situation, please, for Pisces. Two of Cups is coming through. I oh, have four cards here. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so it starts with Eight of Sword. Restriction, self-imprisonment, self-sabotage, your prison. How are you? You're responsible right now for whatever situation you're in or whoever you're with. You're responsible to be in that relationship. It's not the fault of anyone. Where is the fault line? Remember, we had the fault line. There's no fault. There's just a situation to be looked at. Here, there's a feeling of complete imprisonment. But then behind, we have your destiny calling. Number 10 again. The wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning. The cycle is complete for you to begin. 
from that energy, you're getting into good luck, getting into action. This is Jupiter, Jupiter in Aries. Now here, what came through is the Two of Cups with the Fool. So a new beginning when it comes to whatever alliances or other people, soulmate energy that could be coming through your way. But there's a need to have a leap of faith here, to jump in. So as the wheel is turning, we cannot block that wheel. So what will be blocking that wheel is what you don't release. So all the swords need to be released so that you can actually move forward and jump into those waters to be happy and love Pisces. So you have here the eight of wands. This is travel again. Some of you might need to travel and might find there your new soulmate or new connection that could be really important for you, where your destiny lies. But you might be finding yourself in a situation right now that is completely imprisoning you without you truly being aware of it because you're denying it. So either there needs to be an adjustment in this relationship or a change in the space or whatever needs to be done or a walking away completely to jump into the new. The dolphin energy could be very significant. But yeah, there is travel, there is movement here. More about this new beginning, this two of cups, too many. Yeah, you have again the chariot coming through, that's twice. That's movement, Pisces. That's travel. Now be mindful, we're Mercury in retrograde, retrograde, if I can say it, transformation, death, scorpionic energy. Something needs to be released. So yeah, when this Mercury retrograde doesn't mean that you don't travel, just know that there could be tra um, problems in travel. You have the lovers, the choice, also very strong soulmate energy or twin flame. The choice needs to be made, Pisces. And we enter in Gemini um, season also very soon in a week. That's going to have to do with choice as well. You have the Three of Cups for celebration coming through. More spiritual growth, the Hierophant. One clear card for this new beginning. We have two. Her, the what was that? The Ten of Cups and here being in a stagnant stagnant situation, Pisces, or needing to see things from a different perspective. When it comes to your Ten of Cups, it was reversed this one. When it comes to the emotional fulfillment, there's a need to look at it in a different way. Whatever that means for you, each, for each and every one of you, it's different. But truly, here, there is something blocking your Ten of Cups. Maybe your relationship needs to be lived in a less conventional way. Maybe it is a spiritual connection and you're not supposed to be living physically together. There's a lot of things that need to be looked at. There is love here, Pisces. There's a wheel turning, good luck, a new, um, a new beginning, and definitely travel. But for that, there's a need to liberate yourself from the swords liberate yourself from the swords because this hangman energy could be the illumination but you need to see to completely change your perspective here yeah six of cups so my energy huh, has to do also with your childhood reflection when it comes to that 
deep reflection, emotional reflection here when it comes to love, Pisces. One more. Yeah, auto reflection again. Self reflection. This is judgment card. It's karma. There's a call, Pisces. This is divinely guided right now. You, underneath you have the seven of swords. That's a lot of denial, a lot of things behind the scene, not clear, mucky waters here. And that is bringing you into a place right now where judgment needs to take place. And whatever is going on, know that it's divine guided, that is gonna bring, it's gonna change the wheel, it's gonna turn it for you. And there's a lot of love and more peace on the other side. But there is travel needed. There's maybe going into waters, I see going um, close to the water. Yeah, and underneath the Seven of Sword, we have the sun, which is, which is joy, which is total happiness here. And the hermit underneath, contemplation. So, truly needing to get into that zone of clarity within you. Go beyond the sword. Go deeper than the sword. Go deeper than the wound, Pisces. Let it all crack to break free because there is freedom right there. But right now you could, you could be feeling really ugh like that. There's something very important in your life that needs to change. And it's the time. The judgment has called to shift that so you can actually move forward, Pisces. Okay? So I hope this reading wasn't too doom and gloom, but, you know, this is life. We need to see things clearly. And obviously, you have the power to manifest whatever you would like. Focus only on your inner joy, your inner light, Pisces, and you'll be fine, okay? I'll see you very soon, I think, tomorrow. Won't let you be in this darkness. We'll get through it together. I love you so much. Please take care. You'll be okay. Everything will be fine. And above all, you're safe, all right? Love you. Take care. Rest well.